This is, as I say, a unique experience in a television studio in these days of the late 20th century, because we go back to the, the hearth, back to the fireside, to the warm glow, to the floating flute in the twilight, to the gentle whisper of conversation, to the farting lowering of the lamp before the rosary, and the last whispered words of a great folk tale. How do we begin? We begin, I suppose, with the people, the people who mattered most to the folk. Some would call them the fairies, but we had a discussion on this and we decided not that at all, not for us. The good folk, the good people, God's gentry. And we have with us a man here who knows more about them than most. He's written books about them, Dr. Paddy Logan. Paddy, how do we have good people, good folk, gentry? Well, now, before I say that, Donoch, let me say this. That until, say, the year, nearly the year 1800, uh, it wasn't a matter of uh, ignorant peasant belief. Philosophers, uh, great literary figures, believed in and wrote books about the fairies. You see, uh, the, the, the idea that uh, the fairies are an absurd survival uh, is quite wrong and a complete misunderstanding of them because theologians and philosophers spent their lives thinking about them. And one of the greatest poems in Irish is the Calliac of Bear. And she was, as you know, a fairy queen. Now, having said that, the origin of the fairies are the good people. Uh, in my view, uh, they were the gods, the pre-Christian gods of the Celtic Irish. And when Christianity became, they didn't destroy them. They banished them to the fairy mounds. And that story is told in a 15th century manuscript. Uh, the text is comparatively easy to read. It tells that after the Tuath de Danon uh, were defeated by the Miletians, uh, they were summoned, their leaders were summoned by Manon MacLear, and he gave each of them his own fairy mound. Uh, one of them was sent to Jim Sweeney's neighborhood, uh, to what is now Sleeve Gallery. Another uh, would have been sent to what's now Newgrange, Dune uh, Angus, and so on. They were scattered all over the country. Finvara was sent to Nakma in County Galway. And these are the people who are now, the, these are the places where are now the fairy mounds and where the fairy king, uh, our fairy queen, took over and rules. And there they are uh, still. And that is, in my view, uh, 